Hi, this is Hu Jang. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'd like to introduce some Cybertruck exterior accessory that I enjoy using. I prefer to keep original look of the Cybertruck as much as possible while making a slight modification. I'll introduce each product one by one. I've included all the product links in the description below. First up is the muff flaps. Tesla sell them in the shop, but I purchased them on Amazon at slightly cheaper price. Since the Cybertruck has wide tires, without a muff flap, dirt and debris can splash onto the body. These muff flaps help prevent that. They might slightly affect air resistance, but I don't feel any noticeable difference. As you might already seen on Tesla website, the Cybertruck is supposed to come with the large wheel covers. But early deliveries hasn't received them yet. I got an email saying that they arrived soon, but I still haven't received them. Without the covers, the wheel bolts are exposed, so I bought a wheel cap that covers the center part to make it cleaner. They match the wheel color, giving it an authentic look. A door handle accessory is also a must-have item for Cybertruck. Since there is no separate handles to close the door, you have to push the door panel to close. These leave fingerprints on the stainless steel body. This door handle accessory hides inside the panel and attached with a double-sided tape, so you don't have to touch the panel when closing the door, preventing fingerprint. It's invisible after closing the door, maintaining a clean look. Another nice accessory is a light bar. It's not an essential accessory if you don't go off-roading, but it adds a design highlights to the Cybertruck, which I think it looks great. I made a separate installation video, I'll link it above. The Cybertruck has a four mounting points for roof crossbars, two at the trunk and two at the roof glass. I have crossbar brackets mounted at the back because I install a rooftop tent when I go camping. There is a separate installation video for Mars Adventure Gears crossbar and level bar. I'll link it above. The exterior of a Cybertruck doesn't display any brands or car name. It's not really necessary, but I bought a decal with a cyber font and attached to the trunk for the design touch. The Cybertruck also has a front space. I installed a floor mat and a cargo net. The floor mat didn't originally have holes, but I cut it out for the L-Track mount to use with the cargo net. The cargo net is the official Tesla product, but I purchased the floor mat separately. Let me also introduce some trunk accessories. I receive a trunk divider from Henshaw. Tesla sells a similar product, but you cannot really use it if you have a floor mat in your truck bed. So I decided to try this one. It came well packaged, and the content includes a manual and two tools for adjusting the divider. The installation is pretty straightforward. You use a latch in the middle of the divider and that will extend or retract the track arms on the both end. You mount this at the desired L-track position to secure them. There's a knot below to adjust the height so you can install it without any issues even with the floor mat. I tested it in other position as well, and it's secure without problems. Since there is another space under the truck bed, so if you install it too far forward, you can't use the space below, so it's better to install this slightly towards the back. Let me first introduce other front related product. Since I put a lot of stuff in the trunk, a floor mat is a must have. 
there are various design and materials. I'll include the one I purchased in the description. I previously introduced the side molded panels in the separate video. Tesla has official products, but I bought more affordable third-party options and I mounted various accessories here. These are some accessories that will be useful when camping or in an emergency. Like fire extinguisher, axe, and shovel hung on the both sides. There's also space under the trunk, and if you need to organize it by dividing space, a divider will be helpful. And it comes when you purchase a foundation series, or you could also purchase separately from the Tesla shop. There's another accessory I like to attach to the trunk divider. Like the side panel accessory, the divider has a mullet panels, so you can mount other accessories here. I bought a waterproof product for camping, which is useful for washing dishes or rinsing up my dog's paw after walk. I used to just leave it in the trunk, but it will roll around and make noises, so I decided to mount it on the trunk divider mullet panel for safer use. When you purchase the waterproof product, it comes with this mounting bracket. I'll mount it in the middle of the mullet panel. By securing it in this position, you can still use the lower trunk and it's within easy reach for convenient use. Today, I've introduced the exterior accessory I use for my Cybertruck. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. See ya!